This week's feast... The Maxim Tomato from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This episode is sponsored and approved by Nintendo. Hey Feasters, and welcome to another exciting episode of Feast of Fiction. Big shout out to Nintendo for sponsoring this episode. Today we are making something so cute. I'm so excited about it. We are making Maxim Tomato Cake Pops. And to tell you a little bit more about the game, our resident game expert, take it away, Jimmy. Oh my gosh, Ashley, I'm beyond excited for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. I've been playing the Super Smash Bros. series ever since the first iteration on Nintendo 64 all those many years ago. One of the most exciting things about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Switch is that we have new fighters, new worlds, and every single fighter ever featured in the series, ever. Did I say ever enough? That's right, there are over 70 characters featured in this game, which means that no matter what kind of player you are, you're gonna find one that appeals to you. The rules of Super Smash Bros. are pretty simple. You're a fighter, there are other fighters, and it's up to you to be the last person or team standing. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate features new game modes, new fighters, new items, new attacks, and new ways to play and keep the battle raging on. Honestly, Ashley, one of my favorite memories growing up was booting up a copy of Super Smash Bros., getting everyone in the same room, and just going at it and just making some rivalries that have lasted years. For me personally, my favorite character in the game has to be Kirby. He was the first character I played back in Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64, and I've been playing him every single iteration since, and I can't wait to bring him into battle again in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. One of my favorite things about Kirby? Well, he can survive a lot, which means he has multiple jumps, inflating and puffing himself up above the battlefield. He has multiple ways to attack people from all angles, and also, he's just so cute and adorable. Not to mention his very powerful ability to inhale opponents and then consume their power so that he adds on to his toolkit. So every single time you play with Kirby, it's gonna be a different experience. I've been playing games with Kirby my entire life, so of course he's gonna be one of my favorite characters of all time, and I can't wait to main him once again in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay, Jimmy, we baked our cake, now we gotta crush it up so we can form our cake balls. Let me grab the mixer. Jimmy! What happened? That's a great question, Ashley. One of Kirby's iconic moves is his ability to turn into a heavy object and slam down on his opponents from above. So, looks like you have some dough that needs flattening. I think you know what to do. First, we'll start by crumbling your red velvet cake and adding your frosting just a little at a time. You want to make sure your crumbs are damp but not soggy, kind of like the consistency of wet sand. Next, start creating your cake balls by using a tablespoon. This will help you measure them equally and help shape them accordingly. Line your balls up on a parchment-lined baking sheet and pop in the fridge for at least an hour. Once they have cooled, pop your red chocolate into the microwave and melt in 30 second increments until smooth. Dip your sticks into the melted chocolate and then about halfway into each cake ball. This will secure your sticks for when you're ready to dip. Place in the fridge once more to harden. Next, let's create our fondant M's by rolling out a piece of black fondant and using the M stencil printed from the more info box below. Cut around the M using a craft knife or a paring knife, but kids, make sure you have adult supervision while doing this step. Repeat the process by using white fondant. Lay your black M on top and cut out a thin outline around it. Next, let's create our leaves. Roll out green fondant and using a flower stamp, press and peel away the excess. Now it's time to dip. We melted red chocolate in the microwave and added a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil to get the right consistency. Dip your cake pops all the way in, pulling out slowly and doing a little swirling motion to let the excess drip. Then flip it over and let it rest on a foam block to harden. Once your pops have fully set, there's only one last thing to do. Finish it off by applying your M's and your leaves by gently pressing into your cake pop, and voila, you have made Kirby's favorite food, the cure to all the damage, and a way for those of us not living in the land of Super Smash Brothers to enjoy this delicious snack that will fully restore our hunger pains. Look at these! These turned out 
perfect! Okay guys, there's only one thing left to do and that's try it. I'm dying to try it. Sorry for you, Wim. We're gonna miss you on this one. Cheers! Another recipe well done. Look, and it's perfect. The red velvet kind of makes it look like a tomato on the inside. It's totally on theme. We totally nailed this recipe, you guys. I just can't get enough. Thank you again so much for watching. And again, big thanks to Nintendo for sponsoring this episode and being the inspiration behind these amazing Maxim Tomato Cake Pops. Be sure to check out Nintendo's YouTube channel in the more info box below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Ashrochelle, at JF Wong, and at Feast of Fiction, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.